You know, a lot of times we forget about vegetables because we're so focused on protein. And while protein is one of the most important things that we can be eating in our bariatric lives, you know what? Vegetables are also important. They are. So there are some really easy tips and tricks that you can use to get veggies in. And we're going to talk a little bit about this today. And then our good friend Joyce, you know, the one who makes the beautiful aprons. <laughs> yeah, she gave us an idea that I kind of stole from her. So I'm going to show you how to make these delicious fajita roll-ups that are no carb. And you're going to love them. And they're just awesome. They taste good, too. Exactly. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> See what we're up to. Hi, I'm going to talk to you a minute before Jennifer starts with her recipe about portion size of your meat before mm -hmm. you cook it. And we have a this is a beautiful chicken breast. Now, when we bought this from our butcher, we bought what we bought was chicken scallopini. And right. what a scallopini is is a chicken breast that's been pounded out to be a little bit thinner than a standard chicken breast would be. But this is still a big chicken breast. It's really big. I want you to throw it over in, this is a little cheap scale that I've had mm -hmm. for probably 40 years. And I want you to look at what the weight of that is. Okay, that and Can you is, look around there and see? I'm I not going to touch because I have chicken hands, but it is, that is 10 ounces okay. of chicken. This is a newer scale that I purchased a few months ago. And it comes in handy with this because mm -hmm. you can. This gives you a more exact Wait, right. right. Okay. And you know, nine ounces of chicken is a lot. We it is. we talk about three ounce portions. Right. And actually, for yeah. us, for a bariatric patient, it's actually more accurate to say we need a two ounce portion. Right. So right there, and I, I don't know if the camera is picking that up or not. I was trying to get it where it would, <laughs> where it would show the the nine ounces. Mm -hmm. So typically. A large chicken breast that you buy at the butcher's is going to be about 9, 10 okay. ounces. So what we're going to do is I want you to take that and lay it over on this, okay. this mat. And we are going to make... This is our chicken mat. We've got the little chicken picture on it to tell us that it's for chicken. <laughs> I'm yeah. doing all of the moving because because I have the she chicken hands. The Let's chicken. scooch that over here this way a little bit so that yeah, we can get, get a good view of that. Now, to give you a good idea of... I kind of press it out with my hand, but I start in the middle, and I'm going to pat on this, continue until it spreads out, and you're seeing it grow before your eyes. And remember, this is nine ounces of chicken, so what we're going to do is we're going to make three portions okay. out of the nine ounces. Now, if they don't have one of these nifty little tenderizer beater things, what can they use? To use uh, the rolling pin. Okay. I've got one right here. Let's just show you how easy just this is. It's an everyday is. rolling pin. Something with a little bit of weight behind it. We'll give it a little a more stretch. noisy than the other well, one, just, but you know, it'll hey, it stretch works. it out too. So. Oh, looky there, we're rolling it like a pie dough. So We have a chicken pot pie. <laughs> That was bad. I'm Sometimes sorry. Sometimes I wonder about her. Yeah. All right. Okay. She's going to finish talking about this. I'm going to go wash my chicken hands before I touch anything else. Well, I'm going to grab, grab a knife, and I'm going to show you how to figure a portion of, because I kind of eyeballed it yesterday, and this portion of your hand size equals about three ounces. No, don't count my fingernails. Just count the, the portion size. So we're going to get like one, two, three portions out of this. And we're going to be close on our weight. I'm going to stick one in just I to see. I probably should have waited. Yeah, I'm going to just stick it in here and see how close I got Okay. with my estimate. And I'm at right that's, at that's three about, ounces. About, yeah, that's about three ounces. <laughs> so that's a good guess. That's just an eyeball because you got to remember, chicken is going to draw up a little bit when it's yeah, cooked. Yeah, that's true. So but this is just kind of a rough guesstimate and whatever. And for this particular recipe, it's really important to know what you're getting. Right. Because um, because if you're making a larger size roll up, then your portion size is going to be a little smaller. If you're going to make a smaller size, then your portion size is going to be a little different. So also. 
by portioning it out here and having it portioned when you cook it, then you can freeze it in portions. And batch cooking, babe. Batch cooking. We're back to it again. So yep. it's all back to the basics there. So, all right. okay, I'm going to let you take okay. up from here. Well, I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm going to show you the marinade that we're going to use for this chicken. And then we're going to talk about what we're going to do with these awesome roll-ups. And so we'll be right back. Hang around. All right, so I am going to show you the marinade that we're going to use on our chicken breast for our fajita chicken roll-ups. All right, so what we're going to do is, would you please, we're going to use the juice of that entire lime. And if you are not finding limes that are quite as big and beautiful as ours are, you can use smaller limes. You probably want two or three of them. If you use key limes, you're going to probably want about four of them. So we're just going to squeeze that right in there. And to that, I'm going to add a couple, three tablespoons of um, vinegar of choice. I'm using a white wine vinegar. You kind of want to do that upside down. Hang on. You're doing I know. I'm doing, you you're going to get it all over you. I know, but i got to show you because you're doing it wrong. There I you know, go. but it wouldn't, <laughs> it wouldn't fit It's in her there. appliance, and she doesn't even know how to use it. Well, it's just, the, I've not used limes this big before. Those are big limes, Those people. Are big They're limes. big limes, let me tell you. It may take a go. man to push this one. I know, one right? We need maybe one of our big, strong men to do this. Goodness. Want me to do that? I have never Here, had this issue it. before. This thing is, and it's a hard lime, too. Yeah, they're big These limes. They're big, and a little tip, if your lime is hard and not wanting to give up its juice. Squeeze it like I did before I did it. but it You didn't. can roll it, or you can also microwave it for about 30 seconds and warm it up. Oh, that's a good there idea. There we go. There we go. Okay, you're stronger than I am. It's some muscle it. behind it is what you need. We have it on. Trade you. All right, there we go. I didn't get enough on me to do any damage, so we're right. good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. There we go. All right, so you take care of that. <laughs> All, All right, right, to that, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You can use whatever oil you prefer. I like extra virgin because it gives us a little boost of a good fat in there, and I just like the flavor of it. And then to that, I've got some fajita seasoning here. This is no so uh, low salt, low sodium fajita seasoning because I found that the ones that are just like regular, a lot of times they'll have MSG in them, and we really want to avoid MSG because it's just bad for you all around. So, add a tablespoon of that, and that's already got salt and pepper in it, so you don't need to add any more salt and pepper. We're just going to whisk that together in a pretty little chicken bowl here. And I'm going to keep from getting chicken hands again. All right. So she's going to pop that in there. Uno. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. You made, you made. <laughs> she did it. Look we, at her. She's a pro, y'all. She's a pro. There we go. All right. So we're going to let these marinate. And I actually have some over here that I'm marinating. So I'm going to grab these. I'm going to grab my veggies, and we're going to show you how to make these little roll-ups here in just a second. So we will be right back. All right, we are going to show you guys how to make these delicious fajita roll-ups. All right, what we're going to do first, we're going to transfer some of this chicken over here to our paper towel. Just a couple pieces is fine, and we're going to blot that off. And I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but if you notice that the chicken is starting to turn a little bit white, and that's absolutely normal, what's going on is that the citrus from the marinade is starting to cook the chicken just a little bit. And it's absolutely normal, and it's going to keep it, it actually tenderizes it as well. So these are going to be nice and juicy and tender. And it, they are yes. falling apart a little bit, but that's apart. because that's they were scallopini. Yep, that is just fine. All right, so we're just going to blot those off and make our... Need a toothpick? Hold them no, we actually don't need so? a toothpick for these. <laughs> awesome. Nope. All right, so what I've got here is my chicken, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way to make it a little bit easier. And so we've got our vegetables here. And what we did is we just found some sliced, pre-sliced fajita vegetables in our uh, produce department. And these were freshly sliced that day and packaged for us already. And they're just laying there. And so you know what? We said, what save the heck? Time. Save time, save energy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I just threw these in a pan with some butter and sauteed them until they were nice and tender and caramelized like that. And so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a few of these right here in the center. And our oven is ready for them. We're, all right. We're ready. That is perfect. And so I like to get kind of a good variety going on here. A couple pieces of onion, a 
couple of the red bell peppers because they're pretty, a couple of the greens because they're nummy. Well, and, you know, just, you don't want to overstuff them, but you want enough right. in there that you can really and, you know, And it. you want them to be pretty because, I mean, let's face it, you eat with your eyes first. So. It's true. All right, so we've got that all laid out, and now all we're going to do to roll this up is take our chicken. And it's just like rolling up an actual fajita, and this one's falling apart, and that's just fine. It's going to work just fine for us. Just like so, and, that, and so you see, it, it holds together pretty well. If it doesn't, it's going to firm up as it cooks. So yeah, it's don't be worry okay. about it. It'll now, tighten up. These size, about this size and about this size, is going to be um, pretty right on to one serving for one of yes. us. We would probably be able to eat because this is about a two ounce serving, and then it's got about. I'd say probably a quarter cup of vegetables in there. Yeah. And this is a great way. We were talking in the beginning about easy ways to get your veggies in. And this is a sneaky way to do it because, well, not really sneaky, but it's just an easy way to get it in together because we sometimes completely forget about our vegetables because we're so focused on our protein. And the protein is very important. It's number one, and it should always come first. But vegetables are equally important because we need the vitamins and the nutrients, and we need the fiber that's in them as well. And, you know, you can if you don't like peppers and you think, well, I don't like that particular recipe, Change it up. Change it up. Make it how you like it. Asparagus. Like, uh, exactly. We always say green. make it your own, and this is definitely applies here. You can use mushrooms. You can use asparagus. You can use broccoli, green cauliflower, beans. green beans, oh. whatever you like. Just toss it in there, and it's delicious. So, all right. Well, we are going to roll up the rest of these little puppies, and then we're going to get this into the oven, and then we've got one already done that we're going to show you. So we will get this done, and we will be right back in just a second. All right, so we are back, and this is the one that we have already cooked up for mm. you. It smells and so good. It really does. It smells heavenly. So I'm just going to transfer that over there to my plate. And this is one serving. Yes, this is an actual, this is one serving for us. Now, sorry, I had to get off camera to get that off the plate because <laughs> it was hot. I didn't want to touch it. Um if uh, if you're not a bariatric patient, you can probably eat up to two of these, or you can even instead of like we cut the chicken breasts in thirds, you can cut them in half portions yeah. if you want to as well. And so I'm going to cut into this. I'm going to show you how beautiful this is on the inside. I'm ready for a bite. Look at that chicken falling apart already too, because yeah. it is so tender from that marinade. And it just look at that. Um, and it's very hot, so I'm using my tongs here. But look, if, if you look at the. Uh, all the vegetables in there. Oh, yeah. You see the peppers and the onions. I wish I could smell this. It smells heavenly. I know. It really does. And something else that you can do, too, if you want to, you can add some cheese in oh, there. Yeah. And you can, you know, top it off with sour cream. And you can also use this. We've done an enchilada recipe before where we use deli meat. But if you wanted to, you could do something similar with this. And you could top it with enchilada sauce and bake it that way as well. This is another one of those super, super versatile recipes that you can do just about anything with, and you don't have to do fajita seasoning either. You can make it Asian style, you can make it Italian, oh, yeah. whatever you want. So I just love the colors of that. I don't want to take, try taste because it's delicious. It smells so good. I'm taking a bigger bite. Best part of the tor of the fajitas is not the tortilla; it's the meat and the vegetables. Yeah, and so. This is just a great way, and you're not going to miss the tortilla at all, I promise. Top it with some cheese, top it with some sour cream, you know. And again, like I said, you can make this different varieties. If you want to do a, a Italian style, you can do a, um Italian uh, dressing for the marinade. If you want to do an Asian style, you can use teriyaki sauce for the marinade. It is totally versatile and totally delicious, so highly recommend this. Joyce, love you so much. Thank you for letting me steal your recipe. You're so awesome. Very good, Joyce. It's Very delicious. Good. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. And uh, it's coming up, the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, it's rushing toward us very quickly. I but, know. you know. But you know what? Third mm -hmm. season is right on the horizon, and we cannot wait 
until then more things are happening and we are yes there's gonna be oh and be looking for some really awesome things to start happening this summer we got lots of things that are coming up starting june 1st and i can't tell you because it's a surprise it's a secret secret. we got a secret be watching for june 1st because it's gonna be awesome stick around and see what What we're we're up up to to. (laughs) bye